So I'm on the way to the airport. Toby is, is sending me to the airport. I'm going to Perth and I'm a little sad about it. I'm not going for holiday, I'm actually going for work. I'll be going for the next few days and I figured this would be a great opportunity to vlog. I actually have another vlog I need to actually edit before this one goes up. But I think it'd be a good chance to vlog. It's just more that I'm gonna miss Toby is. I'm gonna miss you too. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of weird not being together. Mm. Um, yeah, usually in the past how many... No, for the last two years, since getting married. Yeah, probably since getting married. Since getting married, yeah, every time we go to the airport, it's always to go on holiday together. And now this is like the first time I'm going to the airport and it's just to send me off so I can go, not on a holiday, but just to go somewhere else. Um, but if you've watched this channel for a while, or maybe it's my other channel, I'm not really sure where I put them, but I have, I do tend to vlog. I have had vlogs where I go on work trips. I think I did one for Adelaide, but you did come to the Adelaide I one eventually. I did come to Adelaide on the weekend. You did yeah. go a few times though, and then I think one weekend I did join you. Mm. This one, I hopefully, what I've been told is it's like a one-off trip. So it's just gonna be the next couple days and then I'll be flying back. I've never been to Perth before, so that's the other aspect of it that I thought would be cool to vlog. The thing about Perth is that it is three hours behind Melbourne, so there's a bit of a time zone difference, and it's about a four hour flight. So I've not done that for work before like I've been overseas I've been to Hong Kong for work but I feel like that's different because that's still only about two hours and that's like a 10 hour flight so that's pretty different um, so this is all still in Australia it's kind of like one extreme of Australia to another extreme of Australia so yeah thought I would vlog it also you guys can keep me company whilst Tobias is not with me and um, I'll see him afterwards when he picks me up but yeah I'm gonna go to the airport get on that plane and get to Perth well, I finally made it to Perth and I'm pretty exhausted to be honest. Yeah, I apologize if the quality is not so good. I'm filming on my iPhone. I did actually bring my camera my proper like vlogging camera, except I forgot to bring spare batteries. And so I didn't want to, I want to use it to film a video for the main channel and I want to make sure that the batteries last for that first. I'm really sorry if I start to sound a little incoherent because it is, it's 10.15 in Perth, but my body clock is saying it is 1.15 and it's usually around, this is like my bedtime now. So I'm pretty tired. Four hours a little bit long. I'm usually used to flying to like Sydney, Canberra, Adelaide, those sort of places. So um, I'm a little bit uh, tired now. Perth is, it's hard to actually say what Perth is like because um, I've only seen it at night so far, but right now it's kind of giving me Brisbane-like vibes. It seems quiet. Like when I went to the taxi stand at the airport, it was empty completely empty um, and I'm not used to that because often when I arrive in Sydney in the evening it's packed and I'm like spent the next 40 minutes just lining up at the taxi stand so that was weird um, but yeah it just kind of gave me Brisbane like vibes the city doesn't seem that big I was looking for an area with really tall buildings and I kind of saw like a small patch of them um, which surprised me I kind of thought Perth would be a little bit bigger it, it's kind of reminding me a little bit of Adelaide because um, when I arrived in Adelaide I, I couldn't tell where the city was it was so small in comparison I guess if you're used to like Melbourne and Sydney then um, it's small in comparison I'm, I'm kind of hoping that my body doesn't adjust too much to the time zone because I'm only here for three nights and then I'm back home again and I don't want to like disrupt my sleep too much good morning internet it is currently 6 a.m. in Perth. I've been up for about, I think I've been up for about 45 minutes or so now. So I think I woke up at around 5 a.m., which is really 8 a.m. in Melbourne. So typically that's quite a sleep in for me, especially on a work day, because I usually get up at 6 a.m. in Melbourne. But I didn't go to sleep until like 2.30 a.m. Melbourne time last night. So yeah, I'm trying to actually figure out where everything is, because I've just, as I said, I've never been here before, so I'm just not really sure where like the breakfast places are, the coffee shops or anything like that. Um, and then the thing is, because it's so early in Perth still, 
um, most places are closed like I was like I was thinking maybe I could get some breakfast room service because it doesn't seem that expensive except for the six dollar fee um, but it hasn't started yet it doesn't start till 6 30 in the morning so it's still another 30 minutes so yeah I don't know I wanted to film a get ready with me in the morning video so I might do that I just need to kind of figure out the configuration um, but I thought I would show you guys a little bit of the room so you kind of get my orientation I'm currently in bed watching YouTube as usual um, this is the view this way I'm gonna try and put my camera so I can get good lighting but this is the view um, which is the other hotels and I think that's like another hotel there and then from there you've got your desk your TV there's the door the bed and then the bathroom and that's pretty much it um, I find it weird there's this wardrobe here that I just hung up on my clothes. I like to try and hang on my clothes up and just like set everything up even if I'm really tired, just kind of makes being here a little easier. But yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, there's this like sliding door for the wardrobe, but then the other side where you go to the door, it's like another one here. It's like a double door sort of thing, which I've never seen before, but it's kind of cool because it means that you can be on this side taking your clothes or you can be changing in the bathroom. So that's pretty much the entire room and uh, once I figure out what to do I'll check back in with you guys okay there's no way around this I've been trying to figure out how can I get this chair so I could sit here and still do my makeup in front of the window but as you can see if I sit in the chair the camera is way too low it needs to be kind of more up there so I have just kind of resigned myself to the fact that I'm gonna have to sit on the floor kind of kneeling because if I sit properly this is my view, the camera's too high, and because I don't have a tripod, I can't tilt it down. So I'm just gonna have to like kneel like this and just make it work. So yeah, let's get this done. Done. So this is my makeup. This is kind of gonna be my go-to travel work makeup and potentially even work makeup in general. This vlog is mostly just gonna be me talking in this room I suspect I did one very similar when I went to Adelaide and I just had like timestamps of when I would come back to the room but guys I do not I don't think I'm really cut out for work travel as much as I used to be when I was younger like I've been working in this industry I've been doing this for about 10 I've been doing this for over 10 years now and I used to get pretty excited when I used to go on work trips um, I know I spent many, many months abroad going to different cities, different countries and all that, and I used to think it was the most exciting thing ever. And then the older I get, not as exciting. I think I'm just more of a settler, a nester now. I don't know. So I just, it's like, it's, this is the first trip. This is the first work trip that I've taken in a very long time as well. So that could be it. Um, but it's also the first work trip I've taken since Tobias and I got married. So it just feels really significant I suppose anyways um, I guess that's part of why I like vlogging when I'm on work trips because I feel so like it's so quiet and it's so like lonely it's not even well I don't feel like lonely per se because I'm talking to people constantly but when you come from an environment where there's always people around you and you have like all these cats around you oh my gosh I miss the cats so much um, it's a really big change and it just does feel kind of lonely so I am counting down the days till I get to go home it is currently Tuesday and my flight flies out on Thursday so it's not that long I've, I've done much worse I was away for a month at a time at one stage and that was so much harder but um, yeah so I am pretty much ready to go to work though it is still quite early it's like 7 or something like that I'm gonna find a place to have breakfast and I don't know if I'll vlog during the day I have no idea what things are gonna be like today but I probably will talk to you guys when I get home tonight <laughs> And I'm feeling pretty tired right now. Had dinner, we went to a karaoke, no karaoke, I, oh my gosh. We went to a Korean place, 
um, Korean barbecue. It's really nice. It was the first time uh, one of my co-workers was having Korean barbecue, so um, it was just nice to see his reaction. But he really liked it, so it was good dinner. Oh, I look so shiny, and I think my hair still smells. I think my clothes smell like Korean barbecue now, but I wish I had something more profound to say. I don't, so I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. on my iPhone is if I don't have good lighting but anyways I am back in the hotel room and um pretty tired now <laughs> um we went out for dinner as you saw and uh it was pretty good it was pretty good I am definitely definitely looking forward to going home and just being around people I know and love and I'm comfortable with I'm going to, okay, so I'm trying to fall asleep. I'm going to take a shower, get ready for bed, head to bed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, everyone. It's the last day of Perth. I get to go home today, and I'm so excited. Um, I had a bit of a lion this morning. It's, um, I think it's like 6, 6.30 now or something like that. So I feel like my body is starting to slowly adjust to Perth time, which is probably good I'm going home today so I can like readjust back to Melbourne time. I'm dressed, I've got makeup on and I'm all packed. That's my work bag. That's my travel bag if you can see back there. And yeah, I guess I'm ready to go. Yes, I am ready to leave Perth. I'm so excited to go home. So yeah, I'm gonna go check out and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. So I'm on the way to work at the moment and the, I just wanna show you guys where I was actually staying. So if you're familiar with Perth, I was like right in front of this Weird looking but kind of amazing looking as well, Perth Arena. Perth Arena, when people say it really fast, Perth Arena it doesn't sound like two words. But yeah, I was just staying down there in the four point charity. And now I'm just gonna walk to work. <laughs> Even though my body clock is actually at 6.40, it's 9.40 right now. Um, but basically, gonna go home. I'm going to edit like a crazy person tonight because I'm a little behind on videos, so I need to get onto that. But yeah, I hope you guys kind of found my Perth vlog semi-interesting, even though it was just me rambling a lot. There may be more of these in the future, depending on what work does, so who knows. But anyways, this is Selena reporting from Melbourne Airport. Back to internet. Thank you.